A tenant saw a room advertised on spare room, £850 rent a month. Thought, yes, I'd like that. She went to have a look. Um, the agent showed her round. She agreed to it. 850 was including all bills, um, with the exception that there may have been £20 excess if the bills were a bit high. The day or so before she was due to start the tenancy, the agent gave her an invoice, which was for the rent, £850, but it was itemised and it included an amount for um, deposit administration, which was £85, and also a referencing fee of £85. Both of those are prohibited charges. Landlords and agents are not allowed to charge tenants for those. Um, and in addition to the 850 monthly rent, there was £86.66 energy bill attached. Um, so the tenant, prospective tenant, said I don't want to do this and she pulled out. She then asked for a holding deposit back. Oh, I forgot to mention that. She paid a holding deposit of £500 which she was asked for when she first, after she'd first been to see the property. So she asked for her holding deposit back and the agent refused, saying, no, you pulled out, I'm not going to pay you that back. So she went to the first tier tribunal, the property, the property tribunal, and they held in her favour on several counts. Um, <clears throat> the easiest one was, you can only charge a holding deposit one week's rent. So if she's paying 850 monthly rent, her weekly rent would be £196 and she was charged £500. That's a prohibited charge. If the local authority had decided to take the agent or the landlord, whichever was responsible to issue about that, they could have been fined £5,000. And if it was a repeat offence, they could have been fined £30,000. As it was, they didn't go to court. They went to a tribunal just to get her holding deposit back and she did get that back. So if you are going to use an agent, make sure you've got one who understands the laws. Or if you're not going to use an agent, make sure you're a landlord who does understand the laws. You don't want to get caught out.